On a recent episode of the Golf 360 podcast, I was lucky enough to have Liam Mucklow from the Golf Lab up in Toronto, and Liam and I had a great discussion about perspective on where you think you're aimed and where you think that the ball should go. That plays a very, very big role in your swing because you, you can have a technically perfect swing in the wrong direction if your perspective is skewed. And one way to develop your perspective uh, is to use some alignment aids. Now, here we have the conventional alignment stick that you'll see in 90 some, maybe 100% of the golfers' bags who play on a regular basis, and it's a great tool. It gives you direction on where you're supposed to go. And what Liam and I were discussing was a golfer's ability to step up to a ball and point to the target and be accurate with it when they look up. A lot of people whose perspective is off, when they set up to a ball without looking, they might point way out to the right, which means that's where their brain perceives their swing has to go, so they could have a technically sound swing in the wrong direction, and that could also be, yes, in the point of the ball, they could be well out to the left as well. However, one of the things that we really talked about that was very interesting that he and I both found out over the years of teaching and coaching and trial and error, if you come over here, what we have is a ball retriever, and it's interesting how people, fellow coaches and other players I would play with would make fun of me for having a ball retriever in my bag, but when I would explain this to them, it would make perfect sense. So obviously the, the three foot alignment stick is very, very good. Again, I, as I said, it's in most golfers bag, but you can see the difference in this long, arguably 16 foot long ball retriever that it, it has a very much improved uh, ability to see all the way down your target line to a much greater degree than the three foot stick does. So it is a great training aid. I'm sure if you, if you have one in your garage or you have one at the lost and found or somebody you know happens to have a ball retriever in the back of their trunk or something that they're not using anymore, you can use it to help develop your perspective on where the ball needs to go. And when you start setting up to your ball and pointing at the target, your chances of that point being at that target are gonna be much, much improved. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. If you found this useful and used it in your game, don't forget to click that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our podcast, one of the hottest podcasts in golf, Golf 360. If you'd like to watch another one of our videos or subscribe to our channel, you can do so right over here.